Welcome back everyone to video number 18 in our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. Now, I'm pretty excited uh, to begin this video and there are several reasons for that. Uh, but first, I want to show you uh, something that I find very interesting. You know, we've taken a look at the player screen before uh, where you can see the available jobs that are out there. And I found it very interesting that first place in the championship of the tier two series, as well as number uh, one in the championship of our current series, the tier three, both of these jobs are at uneasy. So it just goes to show you that there is no such thing as a safe job. Uh, even though we're very secure right now, we're doing great. There's no such thing as real job security in racing. So I thought that was interesting. I wanted to point that out. Um, for you guys. The second thing I want to talk about is that I'm excited about is, um, you know, we've got, we get our normal car condition update and you see here that, uh, you know, as you are probably aware, we've been taking it easy on the car during the races. Uh, most of what we try to accomplish is fuel mileage based. Uh, and you can see that takes roughly 50 to 55% of the, uh, the wear on our car in a race to do that. So in order for us to really try to, to push the car, we need a few things to work out for us. And one of those is we need to make sure we have enough reliability in the car that we don't break the car and have to retire the car as a result of pushing it. So we've got to check into that under our car and, and uh, under our performance. But then the second thing is we need to have an actual uh, racetrack that lends itself to that. Because what I found is, uh, you know, we've got Munich that's coming up next. All right, if we go back to the previous race, race number five in the season, we can see that here, you've got 13 laps here. Okay, that's the race length. Well, and the reason why that's important is, um, you probably remember from each of the races is a full tank of fuel, it says will last us six laps. And of course, if we really tune back the engine, we can get seven laps out of that and be able to finish the race on one, one stop, which is what I've had the most uh, success doing. Well, if we look at Munich, 15 laps. There's no way we're going to make that on one stop. It's, I, don't even, I can't even dream of a way that would be possible. So that means that we're going to have to make at least two stops. So if we're going to do that, that means we're going to have to basically race the AI man-to-man. -man. Uh, because they either make two or three stops. I'm not sure what determines their strategy, but they make either two or three stops. So we're going to have to race a man-to-man. -man. And the reason that gets me as ex excited is because as much as I like finishing good, I also like the idea of being able to actually race them instead of having to hold back all the time. And this is going to give us an opportunity to do that. But in order to see how much we can actually push the car, we need to see what type of parts we're going to have and what kind of reliability we're going to have in those parts. So let's come in. Right now, we're not doing any work to design any new parts, and we can't come in and really look at a whole lot because we need to get our car repaired from the previous race. And to do that, we'll go ahead and hit complete on that. We'll get our wonderful email that says, hey, your car repair is finished. Now you can get back to the business of improving your parts. So that's where we want to start. Let's come in here and take a look. We're interested in reliability. And in previous videos, I have you know, every once in a while, I will forget to look up here because it will shift all the uh, the manpower over to performance, and I'll forget to check it, and so we'll get a little lax on that. So let's take a look at the two cars. You see we got 65 and 67% there. Both of those parts are over here, so they're being worked on. Then we got 48 and 74. 74 is not terrible, not necessarily as high as I want it, but definitely not the lowest, so that's not currently over here, but the 48% is over here being worked on. If we scroll down a little bit, the spec parts are at 80%, so they're fine. You know, I'd love to get those up to 100, and we and we may be, have time in the season to do that. But for right now, they are the highest numbers we have. Then we come down into our gearbox, and you can see that we have 69 and 76. Well, 69 is over here. You can see from the icon there. So we're working on, on that. And we've got all of our resources on that. And it says that all of these are going to be done two days before the race. Well, that gets me really excited because that means we're going to reach max durability 
very quickly. So is there anything that we're really going to be lacking? Well, we already know brakes are going to be good to go because they're over here. So then the one I might worry about might be the 74% here. I still think we're going to be okay, but it would cause a little bit of worry for me. And then maybe the 76 here, although I'm not terribly concerned with that. Uh, the 69% is already over here. So I think we're going to be in good shape. And I think this is going to be our first opportunity, particularly this season for sure. This is going to be our first opportunity to really push the cars. And let's just see what we've got. We already know we're going to have Sergio that's going to be starting toward the front of the grid. He, I think he'll be probably fifth or sixth, somewhere in that range. And then we're going to have our second car, Rodriguez, is going to be starting toward the back, probably 15th, 16th, somewhere in that range. So we're going to have our cars pretty well split up on, on track. So we're going to have an opportunity uh, maybe to do some different strategy with them. But the main thing for me is we're going to get to have some fun with this. Okay, so we've taken a look here. Uh, let's see what kind of parts we might want to design. I'm going to have to be pretty careful here because we're uh, just under $3 million. And as you know, working on a new engine is about $1.5 million plus any, any bonuses that you that you add, which will add even more money to that. And then gearboxes are a million plus and so on. So I'm going to have to be very careful about, about how I spend my money here going forward. Uh, but let's take a quick look. Engine, you know, we're at 101 and then we got 142 here. So I definitely would like to have a second engine uh, around this 142 number um, as far as a, a possible high on there, a max number. Uh, we're doing pretty good on brakes. You know, again, uh, as high as you can get them is, is what you're looking for. But, you know, 125, 147, not bad. So if I come down here, I see gearbox 66. Now, I'm not terribly crazy about that. That's actually the lowest of all of these is the gearbox. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on a new gearbox. Now, of course, the problem you get into with the gearbox is making a new part is all well and good but the reliability is going to be horrendous. All right, so let's, before I get in too deep, let's see, we're at 66, and that's max, 66 out of 66. And, of course, you can see we've got some room to improve there a little bit on our, on our good level gearbox. Okay, so 66 is what we're trying to beat, and we're trying to get at or above 101. So let's keep that in mind. Let's go into gearbox, and let's see what we, what we can do. We've got three open slots here. And I want to make sure I get the good slots filled in first. And I can also choose this option. It would add five days to the build, but it unlocks an additional good slot. We'll see if that's going to be advantageous to us. So one thing here, I see plus 30 on reliability, minus acceleration. I'm not interested in that. This option caught my eye. It does have a risk level, but plus 50 is, is hard to beat there. So here I see this that I like, acceleration plus 20, and then add 15 to the max. So I'm going to go ahead and queue that one up. Uh, we can't use great slots because we don't have the building for that just yet, but our telemetry center is on the way. So we'll be able to get, get that sooner rather than later. Okay, we know we want to do this. This adds 25 to the max. Okay, so that gets us to our 101. We've still got one more slot. And for me, it's really down to two, one of two things. Okay, I can go here, reduce the red zone, which effectively increases the amount of durability that you have or reliability in the product. But then this plus 50 sure is nice. Because if I click on this, that takes me up to 151, and I do like that. Now, we're at risk level one. Okay, because this is the only one of them we've chosen. Had we chosen, you know, multiple of these, then we're getting up at higher risk. So we're still at low. And at this point in the season, I think I'm willing to take this risk. Uh, now, the risk is if we get caught during scrutineering with this part, then we can never use the part again. So it's just completely gone to us. Um, again, as best I understand how that works. So we don't want that to happen, but our risk is low. And the potential gain here, the plus 50, is awesome. Add to that to the fact that we've got 11 days before our next race that we can work on the increase in the reliability after we get it done. So I'm hoping we can get this part done in time for the next race. With that in mind, let's go ahead and build this. Pretty expensive, 1.25, but hopefully this can pay off for us. I really think it can. All right, so 
With that in mind, let's go ahead and continue that. Work is underway. Of course, all these days that pass by, we're improving the reliability and performance of our existing parts. Let's see what kind of new mail we've got. Okay, so that's just a new story. I'm not interested in that. We'll let the top tier go ahead and run their events. Really wish it wouldn't stop the game to show me that, or at least give me an option to turn it off. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay, nothing at all going on right here. Uh, looks like we got a scouting report that'll be happening there. Then we got a new gearbox that's about to be finished. Okay, there we go. All right, let's come in and take a look at our scouting reports. So we've got two of them, Oscar, low quality driver, okay. And Nick here would not be one of the better drivers. So let's take a quick look at some details. So we've got basically two stars out of a possible three, fairly low marketability, okay. Again, we don't need a driver right now. This is more or less just taking a look at some drivers that uh, just in case we end up losing Sergio, if he gets unhappy enough with us. Uh, wow, look at the marketability here at 7%. That's definitely not good. Not a bad driver, though. You know, almost three full stars. But, you know, not what we're looking for for sure. Okay, so let's come into our, our car, and you can see that our part is done. Let's go ahead and fit this new part on. And let's see, that would be down here at the bottom. And you can see here's our 40%, and here's our sign letting us know that our risk of breaking the rules is pretty low. Okay, so there. Now, this tells me that I need to come back over here. I really like what I'm seeing here. Let's see, so we got 90 and 90. Let's see, and once again, this thing almost got by me. One more time, let's see, what do we need to work on? We know we need to work on this. So that just goes without saying. Okay, 124 out of 127. I'm going to open up that slot and add this one in here. And we're going to see how much more uh, we, performance we can squeeze toward this 151. We won't get all the way there, but we'll get a good ways. All right, so we've got one more slot open up here. Let's see if we really need anything here. We're at 89.90. We're still good there. There's our 74%. That's probably what I'm going to go ahead and add. And let's see, 90, 80, 80. Okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the 74 in here and see how high we can get that. It'll be very interesting to see how high we can get this 40%. We've got 11 days before the race, and I'm really hoping, since we've got all of our manpower over here, that we can get quite a bit done. Let's come back in our mail, see what we've got. The gearbox is finished. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Let the Tier 2 series run their race. We're not interested in that. Let's let time pass because I really want that reliability work to continue. Okay, you can see here we've got nine more weeks on the telemetry center. Okay, one more time. Looks like we've got a Tier 1 event. Schedule round 9 of 16. All right, and we're back and going. All right, so it's it's time to travel. Okay, now let's see where we got to. Oh, wow, so we're 88, 72%. Wow, that is excellent. So we went from 40 to 72 in 11 days. So I'm very happy about that. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of numbers. I'm seeing 90s and 95s, 88, 93, 80s. Now, so the lowest we have is 72. That is going to be really good. I really feel comfortable now with pushing our cars. That's that's pretty amazing right there. Okay, and of course, performance improvements continue to happen. We're at, I think we were at 101 at the beginning. Now we're at 105. So we'll take every bit we can get for sure. Uh, and still quite a bit of improvement, particularly here with the with the engine. And of course, our new item. Yeah, we've got plenty of, of improvements. Uh, I'm holding off before doing any more uh, any more new 
products because that would take all or more of our money than we actually have. And I don't want to go into the red just yet. Let's see if we can't get a good finish in our next race or two before we get too, too busy on improving our products. But I'm very happy with where we are. Let's see what we've got. Uh, what do we want to do? I really think we can finish good here. Of course, I mean, you never know. Uh, but do I take the chance? We're looking at making 542 before any bonuses. We can go the safer route and with 400 or we could come down and fourth or above, we could make a nice payday of 1.35. I'm actually going to take a chance here. Uh, I'm feeling good about things. Um, you know, I, I'm looking back at my setups from the past and I'm seeing that the setups I've used are pretty similar to each other. Uh, so if that holds true, I should be able to get a nice setup for the track. Let's go ahead and make sure. I think all the parts are already fitted on like we want, but just to make sure. All right, everybody's angry. That's that's always good. Uh, let's see. So, okay, we got unhappy. Okay, so just everybody's unhappy. And let's, let's just take a quick look and see why it looks like. Okay, I'm, both of the good parts are being used there. Spec parts. All right, maybe he is, un maybe Sergio is unhappy because he's using that product with lower reliability. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure, but either way, I think we're in as good a shape as we could possibly hope for right here. So let's go ahead and choose that. All right, we got our parts fit. We're going to, we're hoping for fourth. Uh, that's pretty ambitious, but we'll see what we get. Uh, I'm pretty excited and it's time to race. So practice just ended and we did not put up any stellar times, even though I was pushing the cars pretty hard, both on the engine side and on the uh, tire performance side. Uh, we ended up 19th and 20th, unfortunately, which is right where our car performance is. Um, so I guess I should have expected that, but that's just one lap. So we'll see how things go when we get out into the race conditions uh, for an entire race. We've got 15 laps. Uh, let's take a look first at our knowledge bonuses. We got plus 10% for race trim and soft tires on both cars. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, setups. And both of the setups, I was able to come out very nice. We're at 96%. Uh, of course, you're always shooting for that uh, 99 or 100% if that's even possible. Uh, but we've had 99 before. We couldn't quite get there, but I'm very happy with our 96%. We're going to go ahead and use the soft tires, uh, which should get us between 9 to 11 laps. We're not going to come close to that. Uh, our fuel here, it shows six laps. Uh, we need three stints of five laps to make it to the end. So I'm going to split up the strategy here. I'm going to use full fuel with both, but uh, Sergio, because he's starting uh, closer to the front, I'm going to be using a very aggressive strategy with him, having him really push the car hard. I'm hoping to get five laps out of his first stint, and of course, the same thing out of the second and third stint as well. But I'm gonna do something different here with Rodriguez. And here's his setup again, 96% also. We're gonna go with the soft tires and the same thing, full of fuel. Let's take a quick look at our weather. I don't see anything coming. Hopefully it will not because that would really mess things up for us. All right, so we've got that out of the way. The real difference is going to be here. Okay, on driving style, I'm going to have him push and use the fuel because I think we'll have enough for five laps under these conditions using the high fuel burn mode. Now here I'm going to have him push but only use the medium. He is, because he's starting farther back in the field, I'm going to have him conserve just a little bit of fuel to make sure he can make it to the end or make it for sure on two stops. Now, what we'll do with Sergio is throughout the race, hopefully I won't forget to keep in check on this, but this should have Sergio coming in first and then Rafael coming in second, one lap apart each time. And that way, Rafael will be the car that hopefully we can be sure will make it to the end. Of course, assuming no catastrophes or anything like that. But that's the plan. That's why I'm setting them up this way. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get this thing started. 
I'll try to keep an eye on not only the fuel burn to make sure we can get the required number of laps here, but also I'll want to keep an eye on uh, the tire temperatures. I'm sure they're going to be much higher, but I don't want them to just, you know, blister the tires off. So we're starting out at 6th and 16th. Here we go. All right, we're back to 7th. No big deal. All right, we'll try to give it... Uh, again, the AI will start to pit around lap four. Oh, wow, that's not a good start. But uh, hopefully we can make up some positions. We're going to really push hard. You can see the tires haven't even come up to temperature yet. All right, so we're at ninth and 13th. Rodriguez is actually moving up through the field. I like to see that because he's using the more conservative approach, if you can call it that. All right, so ninth and 14th now, as we complete, or about to complete the second lap. Okay, so not going, not quite the start I was hoping for out of uh, Sergio, but again, we're going. What, I think what the cars really need is to get some clean air. If we can, if we can make it here, if we can get through that first round of pit stops and get one extra lap on the track in that clean air, then we can really stretch it out some. Because right now we're we're a little bit off the pace. You can see here our lap times and tell that uh, we are indeed off the pace even though we're we're pressing. Rodriguez is actually running uh, faster lap times even though he's not using quite the same amount of fuel. All right, so it looks like we got pit stops starting. Let's go ahead and pause this so I can swing the camera around. There we go. All right, so here we go. So now we're in seventh and we got a little bit of clean air here before we catch in front of us. Oh, we've got a safety car. All right, so safety car out of the way. Now we got both cars. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of bringing both of them in really at the same time because I'm gonna need to change tires in both and I'm gonna need to, let's see, tires and fuel in both and they're gonna be coming at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna have any way of being able to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and pit Sergio first. Fill him back up with fuel. And so, okay, so, so far, wow. Okay, that's that's not good. May have to back off a little bit on our pressing. So we got eight seconds there. And I really want to bring both of these in at the same time. All right, I'm going to have to think about that. Let's go ahead and have him. Yeah, that's fine. He can go ahead and we continue that so we got one lap left on the safety car i can't really pit them both at the same time uh without killing our finishing position or running position for one of the cars so i'm gonna have to keep rodriguez out and run an extra lap or so but that's okay maybe we can uh, make it up at the end of the race with him so this will put rodriguez out in front let's see yes he goes to the lead that's good that's what we want uh, remember, we need s at least one car to finish fourth or above. Okay, let's go ahead and have him. Now let's have him really conserve here. Not so much worried about the fuel, but we might as well conserve that as well. Okay, and let's go ahead and conserve both of these. Because once again, uh, as far as I can tell in the game, it continues to use tires and fuel just as if this was a green flag lap. All right, so Rodriguez, here's what I'm going to hope for Rodriguez. We're going to have him really push now. Okay, and he's going to get, well, it looks like he's going to run out of fuel. He's going to get maybe, yeah, never mind. It's not going to work. I was hoping to get a couple of laps, uh, but that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to bring him in to the pits. Well, that didn't work out great for us, but it is what it is. Let's see what we can get out of this at the same time. All right, so with this in mind, I think I'm going to, let's see, I could, I've got 10 laps left. I'm going to have six laps of fuel. So what I'm going to do is definitely crank up. Okay, let's go there. That'll bring him out mid toward the mid and back part of the pack. Really wanted to get that extra lap in under green, but the safety car is staying out. Okay, so we're going to come out 16th, yeah, so 17th, so at the back of the grid now. 
But at the in the meantime, we've got Sergio who's going to start fifth on the grid. So now let's go ahead and I'll have to keep an ID on uh, the safety car. So whenever we get back around to getting very close to taking the green flag, I'm going to have them go ahead and race hard. I'm going to have to have Rodriguez race really hard because this safety car period did not help us out. Our cars were very close together. I couldn't bring them in at the same time. So now Rodriguez is going to have to really push to try to make up some spots. In the meantime, Sergio is really sitting in the catbird seat right now. He's in a great position in fifth. So, so far, on as of lap six, we've got what we need. Okay, so we're just about to go back racing. Let's go ahead and have everybody push. And let's see what we can get. We're getting ready to speed up. As you can see here, the safety car is already pulled ahead. And here we go. So Sergio immediately into fourth. Rodriguez into 17th. All right, come on, guys. Let's really push this right here. Try to push. You can see the tires are starting to heat up. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, quick glance. Doesn't look like any weather is coming into us. All right, so far so good. We're in fourth. I like what I'm seeing. We're closing in on third here. Let's see if we can't overtake him. Not quite, but we are right there. All right, Rodriguez still in 17th, unable to make any moves, it looks like, so far. All right, in the meantime, Sergio is now back to fifth. Okay, that's not the end of the world. All right, so far we've got... Have, Keep an eye on the fuel here for Sergio at 2.34. Um, I think we can get at least one more lap out of that. We'll have to see if I can get two. All right, in the meantime, Rodriguez is at 14.50. Okay, so he's dropping back a little bit now. All right, now, as we cross by the start-finish line, let's go ahead and pause because we're at 1.34 laps, so we're gonna to have to come in next time with Sergio. Okay, and as we do that, we're gonna go ahead and fill him up with fuel, five laps remaining, and I think this will be perfect for us. I think we'll be able to run that five laps with, with that amount of fuel. Uh, looks like we're just gonna make it here before it gets down into the danger zone. Let's say we're gonna come out 17th or 18th regardless let's stick with a relatively uh, balanced strategy and okay i think we're good all right so we're in third closing in on second somewhat all right now rodriguez will follow him briefly because we're, we want him to make one more one extra lap okay he is in 11th so far All right, it's going to be close as to whether or not he's going to be able to run one. I'm actually going to bring him back down here to try to make sure he can run that additional lap. Okay, Sergio is in the pits now. All right, there we go. So we're by. He's got 1.09. I think he's going to be fine, actually, with that. And, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn that up just to see what he can get. He's got a little bit of clean track out ahead of him, so I'm excited about that. Go ahead and put this, and let's see. Six laps, we're gonna go five laps there. Put in a little bit less there, and all the parts look good. Nine seconds, we should come out 13 to 14. Okay, and let him go ahead and do that. Okay, now we'll swap back over to Sergio, who is now in seventh. All right, and it's showing excess fuel. And let's see, condition-wise, do I have enough to really push the engine? It looks like I do. Five point, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That's really going to kill the engine, but I think we've got enough reliability to make this work. Let's go ahead and attack as much as we possibly can. Rodriguez will be coming into the pits very shortly. 
All right, so we've got Sergio basically on full attack mode. I don't want to use the very top uh, attack strategy because if he happens to lock up, it's just going to kill the tire. So I'm shying away from that for now. We're in fifth, fourth, and third are actually in our sights. I think we can get to them. I'm going to keep an eye on the fuel. Excess fuel is still showing. That's what we're looking for. Okay, we're in fourth now. Third is in our sights. Ah, we had it. We had it. We're still, we're, we're right there. Rodriguez down in 13th. All right, he's got excess fuel as well. Let's go ahead and have him on full attack mode as well. Tire heat getting a little bit high. All right, so, oh boy, falling back a little bit there. I should probably back off a little bit, but boy, I hate to do that. I may not be left with any choice though. We are in six, but we are so close. I mean, this is where what I want to say is push, push, push. We've got two laps remaining. Woo, two laps remaining, and we are not going to make it on fuel. I'm going to have to back off. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have any choice there. We're going to have to back off. All right, so it looks like we're not going to be able to make fourth. Uh, let's see how high we can get. We're in six right now and going well. All right, so now we're back to showing excess fuel, which is good because uh, I really don't want to run out. We're having a great run here. Not enough to quite capture that bonus that I was hoping for, but a top seven or eight finish would be really good considering we're, we're going mono and mono to, with these guys. Okay, final lap. Looks like we're going to have just enough fuel to make it. In the meantime, Rodriguez running 13th. As we come down to the final few turns with Sergio. And oh, we're so close. So close. Let's see if we can jump this up. And for the final few turns here, can he get him? Can he get him? Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh my goodness, what just happened there? Wow. Let's go ahead and slow down things here. All that happened so quickly, I'm not even sure what happened. All I know is we went from running, I forget now what it was, it was like 6th or 7th, somewhere in there, and suddenly we got to 4th through the last turn. So I got to admit, I didn't see that coming. I was going to be perfectly happy with a 7th and about 12th or 13th finishing position, but I am very surprised and very pleasantly surprised that we come home with a fourth and a tenth. Now we do have one more hurdle to cross and that is scrutineering. We ha we do have a low risk of being caught. Okay, so we made it through. No rules broken. Excellent. And what just happened here? Oh, we got a demotion. So we get to the podium. So we move up one spot to third and ninth wow it just keeps getting better here at the end of the race the last two corners and then after scrutineering everything is going our way wow that is impressive so what we just did we took a 10th place car last on the grid as far as the the performance of our car but we took the best drivers on the grid and those two averaged out to a third and a ninth place finish going mano a mano using the same pit strategy as the AI. No, you know, one stop strategy, no stretch and fuel, none of that stuff. We raced them hard and came home with a great finish. And of course, that was only possible. We couldn't have done this at the beginning of the year. It's just no way. We had to wait until we had the reliability up very close to 80 or above on all of our parts so that they would last throughout the race. But I am extremely pleased you can see what this does for us in the team championship standing. We're now up to fourth, actually tied in fourth. This is amazing. I don't think I could have asked for anything better coming out of this particular race. Let's go ahead and work our way through the screens here. Wow. That is a huge bonus that we got. So really everything fell our way in this race. We've got 
a huge morale increase of 25% here, as well as increases in the driver statistics. We're now up to 80% driver morale for Rodriguez, as well as some, some pretty hefty increases here. On the different abilities, we got a new unlock. Let's see, fast pit stops. Now have a minus 15% mistake chance. Wow, that is much, much needed. So now we can really push the envelope on pit stops. So really, I can't imagine anything really have gone any better. I mean, yeah, we could have won the race and that would have been awesome. But realistically, things turned out as good as they possibly could have for us, I think, in this particular race. Let's go ahead and get that nice paycheck at the end of the day, 1.2 million. Adds to our balance, now we're back up at 2.9. That's gonna enable us to start work on yet another new part. Now, if we look at the driver championships, we are at fourth place now with Rodriguez and up to 12th for Sergio. That's gonna push us even back farther on the, the starting grid for the next race, but that doesn't even matter right now. I'm just gonna sit here and dwell on the fact that we had a tremendous race going mano a mano. So hopefully that will open up some options going forward with us. As long as we can keep our reliability up, we can push. Thank you once again for joining me in our Let's Play series and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.